Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the WBE World Battle Entertainment, and this is week four. My name is Kyle A. I am your coach of the Miami Don fans, and this week is a very special week, a very intense week, because today, October 1st, Sunday, is my birthday. So, you know, thumbs up for that. Um, please subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate that. And um, we have, let me let me give you some Dom fans history real quick, okay? So we have, um, we've taken on some powerful, powerful coaches, right, in all of our days. We've taken on the likes of T-Train. We've taken on Under the Radar. We've taken on A-Drive. But never, ever have we taken on an opponent this talented. Because today, today, we go against the New York Marauders and their coach, Mr. Talent himself. His link is in the description. Go check him out. Great dude. Makes great content. And um, it's pretty damn funny. Pretty damn funny. Now, I am going to let you know that... We had a connection error right when it started, so I already saw his preview, um, so sorry, but we're going to go ahead and let the battle begin. Basically, uh, my team is under me. I uploaded a team builder yesterday, so check that out if you're interested in my sets, and his team is under the big screen. That is the team that he is bringing. Um, in the original prep, I did not have Buzzwool. I had Tapu Fini on there, um, but other than that, we were good. So, I really, I, I figured he'd bring Ambipom, um, and then I thought that, uh, Mega Aggron would come for sure. So, but I think right here what I do is, uh, I just lead low punny because we had a, um, okay, I got my six on there. We had a DC literally, like, the first turn, so I think it's just Festival Plaza and, and the servers, you know. But, um, because I have, I know I have reliable internet. I'm sure he has reliable internet since he's, you know, much, much more successful, bigger in this, in this whole foundation than I am. So I'm sure that he is on point too. And, you know, sometimes that shit just happens. So, uh, we are going to go from the jump. But today is also game day for the Dolphins. I have my man, my man, Devontae Parker on right now. So we are ready, ready to go. Have fun. Have fun, Drew. Sir man, sir. All right. Okay, I was like, what is going on? Oh, he is throwing me the peace sign, okay? He's throwing me the peace sign. And literally right here is where we DC'd. Like, for real. Like, so, you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 ain't, it ain't no thing. So, uh... Okay, now let me uh, just... Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, straight up, turn one, is I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go for Toxic. Um, he probably thinks I'm either going to switch or um, Fake Out, so I'm actually going to go for the Toxic straight up. Straight up, I tell ya, I just really wanna cut when we together. Oh, 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 okay. So let's see here. And we are waiting to see what is up. And I am going to be trying to do better at typing notes because some people were like, straight up roasting me in my p4g videos are like oh you need to leave notes better or maybe it was last week in the, in this league wbe against steve oh yeah i was against steve they're like you need to have better notes for taking down because you would see that you outsped i was like okay okay man i made a mistake sometimes people make mistakes but turn one we're gonna get the toxic and he skill swaps Okay, um, and we land Toxic, okay, we, 
So we have Levitate Megalope Honey instead of Scrappy. But he has no ghost type, so I don't... I don't know what he was expecting. Maybe he was expecting... me to go to Slowking and he would get Regenerator, I think, possibly. Um, I think, let's see. Because now we have, a, we have a few plays that we can do. We have a few plays because ultimately we don't need Scrappy. So I'm really not that upset. Um, could go to Crook, predicting the Psychic type move. But I kind of... Uh, I kind of just straight up want to... Attack him. I'm going for the secret tech. Turn one. Or turn two, I guess technically it is. Turn two, the secret tech. Are you guys ready? Dizzy punch! Oh, he skill swaps again. Okay. He he learned that was not what he wanted. Okay. So that's fine. Which, yeah, that's that's definitely okay with me. He does have leftovers. Okay, I just didn't see leftovers in the beginning. Okay, so Cress has lefties, okay. Uh Cress has lefties. Alright, so now that he thinks I'm going to stay in and attack him again, I'm going to go into Crook. Because I stayed in that turn and just attacked him, so that kind of bluffs that like I'm not worried about him. He does go for the Psychic move, hits Crook. Okay, that's good. Well, it doesn't hit Crook technically, so we have a few options here. Um, I could go... I could go for the knockoff, but I think he's gonna see that coming and he's gonna go into Agron. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna EQ. I'm gonna EQ predicting that to happen. Who is Bugatti? Oh, that's Buzzwool. Okay. We're gonna EQ this Buzzwool. And that's gonna do zero, okay. That's gonna do zero. So, not the worst, not the worst at all, but, um... I think that was lefties too. I think I just saw lefties on that too. Um... Now here's the problem, I don't really have... I don't really know what Buzzwool's gonna do to me, um... I know it's like stupidly strong, like incredibly strong um so and i've never even used it before so i don't really know it's probably it's gonna go for like hammer arm on me right um hmm i think he might go for the bug type move though do you get x scissor you get fell stinger you get fell stinger you do not get X Scissor, you get Lunge though. That's what that's the move you get. Lunge and Leech Life. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do is go into Scizor. I think we're gonna go into Scizor. Because he doesn't have Feeny. Oh, he's gonna switch too. He goes back into Cress. He goes back into Cresselia. Okay. So I th I'm gonna write down lefties on Buzzwool with a question mark because I didn't see. Kyle, you're coming here talking about how you want to take better notes and then you miss something like that. Oh, Kyle, what what are you doing? What are you doing, Kyle? Eh? Okay, let's see here. Scizor. Um, red. Okay. What we can do here. We can U-turn. I almost think he goes back into Buzzwool, but then again, I don't. So I kind of want to just Swords Dance. 
going for Swords Dance. If he has if he has the Hidden Power Fire, oh okay, he switches into this guy. He switches to Embor. Okay. Um, all right. So I definitely don't want to take a Flare Blitz at all. Um, we reveal that we're SD, so that's not good. I could go... Oh, I forgot, we're... Hmm... I forgot to change Crocodile. I have the right everything, except I wanted to bring Intimidate, but I brought Moxie. Um, I tried to change it last minute, because I originally... Um... Me and my crew, why is my webcam like, reach for the sky? Okay, so, hmm. Now the thing is, we speed tie Jolly Embor. But if he's Choice Scarf, we don't. And we don't have Protect or anything. We don't have Protect, um, so I kinda just wanna switch. But I really don't have anything that's going to want to take an attack from this. Huh. I could go for the plus two bullet punch and do about half and then just die. But I feel like I, I feel like I kind of need him. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna bluff that he's not scarfed. There it is! Oh, man! Okay. That's what we needed. Okay, so we know he's not scarfed. Okay. Scizor kills Embor with Aerial Ace. People might think I'm a dummy for trying that. But we live in. But we live in. That's huge. That is huge. Holy cow. Uh, my... Somebody just DM'd me. Okay. No. Alright. Cool. I just told them I'm in a battle. I'll talk to them in a second. Okay. So, that's huge for us. Okay. We now have a plus two scissor. Plus two scissor. We Oko Buzzwool. We kill Cresselia. This is huge. This is huge for us. Okay. So... We risked so much with that play. Oh my goodness. Like, for real, so much. Um, depending on his spread, we can Oko this thing with Bullet Punch. Depending on his set. Oh, there it is. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Drew. I'm, so I I'm sorry, man. It was just, you know what? I knew... I had to bring my own, I had to wear my glasses today. I had to try and bring out the talent because Mr. Talent, when he, when he puts the shades on, man, he's a whole other beast. Uh, kills Nitto King with bullet punch. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Okay, now we are ready. We are ready. I... So, in the team builder, I touched up on this, but I actually put the metal coat on Scizor. And uh, that actually powers up Bullet Punch, which is why I was able to Oko him. 
Um, which is why I was able to Oko Nidoking. Because I think without it, let me see. Without it, maximum I can do is 96%. If he's, if he's like, uninvested in defense. But with the Metal Coat, it allows us to Oko Nidoking and do heavy, heavy damage to things like, uh... To things like, uh... Feeny. Tapu Feeny! So Ambipom's gonna come out, it's probably gonna, what, fake out us? Or, like, Scarf Fire Punch? But Bullet Punch Oko's him, too. Okay, he does go for the fake out. Oh, that does so much! Holy cow! Okay, he's Life Orb. Probably Adamant. He might be jolly. The thing is, though, he would have to switch out and keep bringing in Ambipom to keep fake-outing me. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I wonder if he was max speed jolly Embor because it is a speed tie. Like the way that we EV'd this, it is a speed tie if he goes jolly max speed. So I want to ask him that. Um, because if he went adamant, then we outsped no matter what. And if he wasn't max speed jolly, then we outspeed no matter what. But if he was, then, you know, this whole thing was impacted by a speed tie. And, you know. That's not fun. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what I mean. Like, it's like, oh, rip, like, that's a coin toss. Okay, so he goes into what? He goes into Buzzwool. Okay. <clears throat> How do you take BP? Alright, you take that fairly well. But the thing is, we outspeed you, right? I think we outspeed you. So we should be able to just knock you out with Aerial Ace. Yep. Scizor kills Buzz with A Ace. Alright, now here's where it gets tricky. Here's where it gets tricky. Agron. We do nothing to Agron. So, um... With EQ... Huh. Alright, so he's gonna Mega Evolve. I'm gonna just U-turn here because we literally can't do... We can't touch him. Luckily for us, he didn't bring this thing in earlier. Um, so we're gonna U-turn. If he goes for Heavy Slam... Okay, that would be O-Code. What about... Um, I think we can go into royalty. I feel like we can go to royalty here. And yeah, and we kind of tank. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then, you know, if needed, we can switch out. Um, okay, so he does go for EQ. That should do like 30% though. Yeah, okay. Um, and this guy outspeeds us, no matter what, so, um, 
I can go for Scald here. Oh, he switches. Into what? Cresselia? Yeah, he goes to, Cr to Cresselia. Okay. So we get a Scald off. That's fine. Then he recovers, I'm sure. Or Moonlights. Same thing. So this is what we're going to do. This is what we do right here. Call me bold. I'm going to call out the Moonlight. I'm going to call out the Moonlight or the Switch. He's, he's doing one or the other. He doesn't switch, I don't think. So we're going to go into our side chick here. We're going to go into Salazzle. He does go for Moonlight. Okay. So, um, okay. Um, all right, now it's time for the secret tech. Okay, so... We're gonna su we're gonna go for a substitute here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bait him to go for psychic, or psy shock, same thing. Cause odds are that's his only attacking move. Um, so then what we can do from here is uh, disable. We ha we have disable on this. Um, Because he's already toxic, so... We are rolling with the tech right now. There it is. There's the juicy disable. Okay, and he does go for side shot. Okay, cool. So, if he does have, like, Moonblast... Let's say he has Moonblast. Um, that literally... It does nothing to us, so... I think right here we're free to just start clicking flamethrower. He's not gonna stay in. I do have the Z fire crystal. So oh never mind, he saw I have black sludge. Okay, I was gonna say because he might think I have the Z move. So he's probably gonna switch into what? Ambipom? Yeah. So he goes to Gazebo, who's gonna take a flamethrower. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a fake out. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. He's life orb. So we outspeed. Okay, that's right. He just. He didn't. He didn't go for fake out. Okay. Um, uh, Salazzle kills Ambipom with Flamethrower. EQ is the play here for him. However, uh, we can go back into, into uh, royalty again. Or what we can do is go into Swallow. Could go to Swallow. But then he just heavy slams next turn. So that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do at all. Um, I 
All right, so we go to Slow King on the EQ. And we just scald him. Oh, he okay, he goes for the toxic. I see you, I see you, boy. He goes for that, so how much is Scald gonna do? Takes him to about half, okay. So we know we can live one more EQ, and I think we can live a uh, Heavy Slam, maybe? Oh yeah, EQ does more than Heavy Slam, okay. So that's fine, we can just Scald again. feel bad right now like I feel really bad because he may be jolly max speed Embor, and if that happens this whole game just went down because of a speed tie and I'll, I'll tell him that. I'll be like hey man like I know there was some cheese there so I'm, I'm sorry bro I'm, I'm sorry bro but cuz oh man and it's like this is a uh It's the it's a four fun league, you know what I mean? So it's like now like I, I feel bad too because it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to get the dub because I'm trying to get the dub. He could moonlight here or he could skill swap and try to get regenerator and then switch out again, which is why I'm gonna go to Swellow. Um, cause I would rather have him have Scrappy than Regenerator Cresselia because that would be insane. Um he goes for Psy Shock. Okay, that might actually just kill us. Oh no, we okay, we can live that. Okay, so that's fine. Um, now we can kill him with Boom Burst. Like for real, for real, like for real, for real. Um. I think. I think we can. Uh, Swallow kills Cress with Boom Burst. Alright, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? We go into... Crocodile. No, because we're not Intimidate, so... And, you know, we don't have to do all that, so we could just go to... Slow King. Because we know we can take one. Okay, he does have Heavy Slam. Okay. I thought he did. I thought he did. And that would have smoked us. So. We can just Scald here and put him in range. And then we can take him out. Oh, he goes for EQ. Huh! Alright guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to be that guy. I really am, but I gotta I gotta do it, man. I gotta get that 6-0. So I feel like we just go to Low punny. 
and click fake out. Or fake out doesn't even do it. Um, could go scissor. I'll just go to croc. I feel bad, man, for being that guy. I'm gonna send him a DM and be like, GG, man, I'm so fucking sorry, guys. This this really was a fluke. Like, it really was, I, I believe. Like, I, I definitely do believe that he's a much better battler than me. Like, um... But, you know, that just goes to show how these games can happen. We... Pick up... We somehow pick up a 6-0. Um... Oh man, I mean that's that's something to do on your birthday. But uh, he just asked me what item was Scizor. Yeah, I'm about to have I'm about to have a talk with him and, and let him know what's up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope I did better this week because um, people are telling me to do gooder, do gooder, Kyle. So I'm trying, man. I'm trying. And guys, if you um, are interested in helping supporting me on a whole other level, I do have a Patreon link in the in the description down below. I have some dope rewards. I can help you guys out with collaborations or promotion or whatever. But um, check that out if you're interested. If not, no worries. Anyways, I love you guys. Dom fans, roll out.